vegetables that he's been throwing out uh, with things like down smash or that dash attack was just too much for Richter to make it back from. I mean, obviously, you have to give, uh, Silux is like such a crazy player because like you expect him to stick to his like crazy uh, like flowchart all the time, right? You, you see him usually play his games, and then you get into the nitty and gritty, and just like in situations like that, just like the absolute next brain play. This is what you set, of course, set you apart from the other Falco players. When you get into those situations and you're able to make the right choice, not just sit there and up tilt, but you know what to do next. Let's see if that uh, decision maker is going to be able to find the win against uh, Janice. We're going. Oh. Yep. Jump from ledge means meet my feet. Good that is Lord. a huge way to start this set. In the loser semis, Jen able to take it over Dill in order to get here and looking to answer right away with oh a... God. Ooh, going super deep, ooh. Jen. What the hell is going on in this game? It's only been 45 seconds. I'm just going to fall with you until you up B because I know if you want to live, you have to up B. And I have my double jump to punish that. That's Jen with a huge response and unable to find the grab as well oh early. God. So Steelix is going to eat 62. Almost finding the happening? two frame around with that down tilt. This combo needs to be huge, but it's nothing at all. Mistimes the up tilt, but goes for it anyway. Oh my god, what's <laughs> happening right now? Scrambles. That's... What a tomahawk grab. That was like, oh my god. Who said they nerfed Palu grab? You're lying. Oh punish, my god. The punish on the what chart. What kind of punish was that? I bet he was reading get up attack, but the neutral get up into what looked like forward tilt. I think it was, half, I think it was down tilt. Right, down tilt as well. Punish just the same as... Oh my god. Jen, what's, what's, relax. Well, he's been swinging today. There was a couple huge roll reads they had against John where they were just punished with an up smash or forward smash as well. Jen is has a good beat on his opponent's defensive habits. It's just a matter of can they oh sustain that Ooh. into stocks. So reading the air dodge. But the wrong way all the... Okay, no, it's going to be bad. Can't figure out that's not on shield. See if Jen's able to let you, let you get back to stage. Oh, we're not able to catch with the jab, though. Jen's just playing super patient on this ledge, this little area right here. Not letting Steelix play the game whatsoever. Oh, no. Oh, that's such a battle to be in. Oh, no, catch with the down air, though. Jen, Jen's not able to find these punishes, but still putting on such amazing pressure at the ledge here. Yeah, they're going for a lot more. Oh, okay, the down is going to take very good stuff. Yeah, that's such an important uh, move into Falco's kit, having that raw hit kill option, looking to cover himself with a oh. jab. Appropriate punish. He knows what he he knows those frames. He knows what he, uh, Jen has available to them. Rolling in order to get away, uh, get away from the phantasm and get, uh, punishing with a combo of his own. This is going to be a absolute necessity to get out of the corner here. But Steelix gets greedy and finds himself back into it. But force, uh, but within the scramble, able to find themselves back to center. Steelix needs to find a starter here and up to a nair something with um, a lot of value behind it. Because right now Jen is just. If it's a hit, it's a trade. He's avoiding so much. Jen's just playing this super well. Still just hanging out 134%. If Steelix can find that one conversion, I think he'd steal this game back, but just it's gonna be so tough to come back. Jen's kinda of sitting in that position like hey, I'm Palutena, like I have all these moves that my normals can kinda of just take you out right now. I'm gonna sit back. That's big. Oh, That's you're playing a little too aggressive. Oh! Sour spot. Oh there, my god, Steelix going crazy. Trying to find the put oh we're not find the downer though. Jen's just trying to find that one hit to take the game. The Dats actually gonna be able to take it. So Jen's just throwing out these moves at this point, just trying to take the stock as soon as he can. And uh, Steelix is just taking full advantage right now. Steelix is getting away with a lot of rolls back to center, but that jab is oh! huge. Oh, Jen went for it all, but you can't go for that. Oh my god. This off smash. Who up does that? Up when you're down to it, Steelix is going for so many crazy options right there. There's no way. No shot. Oh, yeah, good DI on the up throw, but this amount of rage is dangerous to keep playing with. Jen no! going for it. Wow. That was a. Gambit and a half, and even he has to struggle a little bit there of like, man, that was a close call in all facets. But as uh, as Steelix was able to turn on the Jets with so much, uh, so many combos and so many just raw neutral wins, Jen played uh, played to his aces and found one in his back pocket. Seeing Steelix dash dance is all, oh, and the jump as well. Like that. I find it somewhat poetic that Silix was getting was throwing out all these crazy options, like throwing Jen off guard. So Jen wins the game by throwing out some random explosive flame. I think, I, that, I think, I think well, it's more random. calculated than you. I'm are. not. I'm not. <laughs> not random is the wrong word. I'm saying like like the, the, the throwing Silix off. I was saying if you want to throw all these laggy options, I got a laggy option and a half right here. Explosive flame going to take the game just like that. It's crazy. I think the key part, especially in a matchup like this, where both characters are so quick and can. Um, reset their resources by resorting to platforms like so in that combo with Steelix so resetting the platform to get his double jump back to extend further is you can use your double jump as a very very successful bait which is what worked at the end of game one where Jen showed the double jump 
gets Steelix to approach, gets caught by the explosive flame. You see the double jump there, try and get him chasing, but Steelix playing a little bit more reserved, looking for those laggy Hail Marys oh. that Jen been going for, but just barely oh, missing my God. a barely whiffed up air turned into a pair of back airs for Jen, and that is a lead to start with. That's a very big lead. Obviously, you can find any lead against Fox, especially the character like Palutena. Palutena is just like the queen of just like holding down neutral and just, and just hold. Oh my god. Mm, can hold that back air though as Jen is. Hold back the ledge. Oh, never mind. Okay, oh, just going for missing the down air. Yeah, going for Dare instead of Nair there, which is uh, unfortunate if you are looking. If you're a Steelix fan trying to get him into losers finals for the run back oh, against no, VV. But Jen with the call out. Damn. I think. Steelix is playing a lot of that for it. made the game super close, obviously, throwing out these really crazy, like, Hail Mary options. And I think those Hail Mary hunters are starting to bite him in the butt. Jen's like, okay, bro, one too many Hail Mary options. I'm going to be ready for it. I, I am no longer going to Hail to Mary. I'm, I'm just going to hold this game down, and I'm going to wait for you to throw out this, this yeah. crazy, laggy stuff. Oh, my God. I Hail to Mary in the last set, and that, look what that guy, look, look where that guy's at right now. Like, we're trying to get beyond oh! that, but Jen is looking to get beyond this set with that downer almost coming through, but Falco's up be just a little bit more, a little bit different than Fox's, as it's not as not as easy to downer. But you're just as easy to ledge trap if you're Palutena. Look at the jump call at the spacing with that neutral air. Able to cover so much. Oh, no dash attack. He's trying to read the oh roll. Oh my gosh. Up tilt down air. He's still just trying to get more combo started. Nice back in the time. Big call out. Good Great angles, stuff. but he catches the double. This is no double jump on the part of Jen. Has to recover at that angle, but Steelix was looking to cover more of ledge, which netted them, which did not net them the stock. Oh, to, oh the neutral get up. You're still he, not dead, but that was crazy, though. What's happening with Jen? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Jen, you gotta relax. And this just comes down to No, there is no relaxation here. It is stocks yeah, that's, that's flying. It. it is a GG's. finisher, and it is Steelux falling 2 0 to Jen as Jen was hunting. Hunting Damn. for stocks. That was disgusting. That's Jen, like Jen, solid you just see show. bloodlust in the gameplay, right? Uh, that, that red screen there, that wasn't like the red screen. That was blood. That was just like the, the, the red in Jen's eyes. Just like, man, that's. Damn. Thanksgiving came early. Oof. <laughs> it's tough, but you know it's the it's the strength of the uh, of the suite of kit that Palutena has at her disposal. Mm -hmm. to where if Falco is all in on that combo game, all in on that advantage, and trying to set up a, a lot of these air to airs, or to force you into landing on top of them to where he can up tilt you and like, get a huge combo off of it, then it goes to show like Palutena having access to things like teleport or things like Explosive Flame, as we saw in Game 1, to get back to center, to get back to stage, and avoid...